Good morning. And I lift my voice to worship you, oh my soul, rejoice. Take joy, my King, in what, in what you hear. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound.
Amen. Ah, yes, Lord. Slip your hands in the air. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank Amen. you for your presence. Amen. Amen. Loving you. Loving you more, more each day. The more I love you, I want to show you I'm loving you more. This is our Holy Communion Sunday worship service. Amen. Yes, it is the Lord God who makes it all possible, even yes. on this virtual yes. experience, even on this virtual platform. We are just so happy to know that God is good all the time, and yes. that all the time, God is good. God is How good. many of you know that God yes. is good all the time and all the time? Yes. God is good yes. no matter yes. what we go through, no matter what situation, no matter what 
is going on in our life. How many know that God is good? God has done something for yes. you. Yes, indeed. Yes, Thank yes, indeed. You. So this is the day. And we are, and we are rejoicing and we are going to be glad in it. Welcome yes. to the Remnant Family Worship Center on this beautiful Communion Sunday, third Sunday morning. Um, it is the goodness of God. It is the goodness of God that brings us together. And we are so, so happy that we all, we all collectively have come to this place to worship our Lord in spirit and in truth. How many of you know that God is good? How many of you know? I see one witness. Amen, on here. Amen. I don't hear anything and I'm not hearing no words, but if you know God yeah. has done something for you, oh, say hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. 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 God is sovereign. Hallelujah. God is love. Yes. And his love enduring yes. forever. I don't know yeah. about you, but I can tell you that this has been a very trying week for me, but I bet, I bet that there's a witness out there that can say the same thing. Amen. And one thing that I know is that God will bring you through any situation. All you got to do is pray. Yeah. All yeah. you got to do is wait on oh. him because in his time, yes. Yes. he will yes. work it out for you. It may not be today. It may not be right now, but I can tell you if it's not right now, he's still working it out. He yes. works it out for me. He works it out for you because he is an omnipresent God. He Amen. knows all about each and every one of us. So with that being said, hallelujah to God be the glory. Amen. Amen. God is sovereign. Yes, he is. So let us pray. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength, Lord, my redeemer. Lord God, it is once again that we come. We come, O oh God, to lift up your name. We come, O oh God, to give you praise, to give you glory, to give you honor, and to give you thanks, O oh God. Thank for your miraculous blessings, oh God. Yes. For your faithfulness, oh God. Yes. For yes. your love, oh God. For your protection, oh God. Yes. For all that you do, oh God. We come to say thank you. We come to yes. worship you, oh God. We lift up your name, oh God, because yes. you are. You are God all by yourself. And besides you, there is no other. So, Lord God, we thank you this morning. We thank you for overnight protection. We thank you, oh God, for, for keeping us from hurt, harm, and danger, seen and unseen, oh God. Lord God, you not only protected us, but you protected our loved ones, oh God. Amen. And for that, oh God, we say thank you. Oh God, you have brought us through another week, oh God. And we are so <laughs> thankful, oh God, that you heard Amen. our prayers, oh God, that you dried our tears, oh God, that you put a smile on our face to let us yeah. know that you will never leave us or forsake us. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for all that you do and what you will continue to do, oh God. Lord God, I ask that your presence be felt in this virtual service. Oh yeah. God, let each and every one of us open our hearts, open our mind to receive you, oh God. Yes, let yes. us all know, oh God, that in this service, oh God, we are to, we are to worship you like none other, oh God. Yes, we yes. are to give our all and all to you, oh God. And yes, yeah. so oh God, we come on this virtual platform, wherever we may be, oh God, sitting in our kitchen, sitting in our bedroom, sitting yeah. in our living room, sitting outside in the yard, wherever we be, oh God, we come to you, oh God, to lift up your name and yeah. to give you the praise that you so lovingly deserve, yeah. oh God. 
Lord God, Lord God, I ask that you continue to bless us. Oh God, continue to bless this service, oh God. Let this service be what you would have it to be, oh God. Yes, Touch God. each and every one of us on this virtual platform, oh God. And let us know, oh God, that you can do all things but fail. Oh God, we thank you. And if we had a million tongues, it just wouldn't be enough to give you the thanks, oh God, for your many blessings, oh God. Lord God, I pray this prayer. I pray this prayer in the name of Jesus, in the matchless name of Jesus, in the miraculous name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. And thank God. Amen. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. God is Glory. sovereign. God is sovereign. Yes. Our morning hymn this morning, Alas and did my Savior bleed. See you. 
Mm. Here I go because I have to say that first just one more time. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. Yes. And the burdens of my heart rolled away. Yes, sir. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy, happy all the day. So we thank yeah. God for being the light. He is the light of the world and his word is a lamp unto our feet. Amen. Our Sunday scripture reading will be given by our very own brother, David Owens. Brother David. I am filling in for Brother David this morning. Yes, yeah, Sister Yvonne. Sister the Yvonne, scripture David for is. today is coming from Romans chapter 6. I will be reading from verse 1 through 11. Romans 6 verse 1 through 11. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein. Know we not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that the old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now, if ye be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death has no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord Amen. be blessed. Glory be Amen. to God. Amen. 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 And our morning prayer will be given by our very own lovely sister Ada Cooper. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Lord, we come once again to give thanks for another day. Yes. Dear God, we thank you for all those who are on the line. Lord, we ask that you bless those who wanted to be on and are not. Yeah. Dear God, we thank you for waking us up today to another beautiful day, Lord. We thank you that we were able to get up and take care of our needs. Mm -hmm. Lord, we thank you for the food that you have provided yes. for us for this day, Lord. We thank right. you for our Family, Lord. Yes. yes. Dear God, we ask that you will bless this day as we go from place to place. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. And that you will give us what we need. Lord, we ask that you will protect us. Yes. Yes, that you will provide for us, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
I'm asking for so many things, Lord, but I want to thank you for all the things you have already done. Yes, yes Lord. We'll be doing for us sometimes, time. Lord, we thank you because you look after us, Lord. And, oh, yes. And oh, yes. Come on now. You, you bless us when we don't even need blessings. Mm. And we thank you for that, dear Lord. Thank we you. We thank you for your mercies each and every day, yes. Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the jobs that we have. Thank you, Lord, for those of us who are retired, Lord. Yes. Yeah. Ask that you will give us peace and blessings and mercies in our families mm -hmm. as we go place to place each and every day. Yes. Yeah. Lord, we that you come to another communion in Sunday, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, that will bless us and we want to be worthy, Lord, yes. to partake of the elements, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for allowing us to do this, dear Father. We ask that you will bless the remnant family yes. and everyone. <coughs> or give Reverend Chandler the knowledge that he needs to lead yes, this, this group. Bless him, Lord. Bless him. Dear Lord, as the in, in, um, installation comes tonight, Lord, mm -hmm. bless everything that is done. Yes. Bless every step everyone makes towards its success. Dear Lord, and we ask that you will always bless the mm -hmm. remnant family worship mm -hmm. center. We thank you, Lord. Yes. We ask that you have mercy on the world, Lord. We need you so badly. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Everything and everybody is yes. going crazy. Mm -hmm. Pray your prayer. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on people that don't care, Lord. Mm -hmm. Put it into spirits and their hearts, Lord, to change and do your will. Dear mm -hmm. Father. Yeah. I ask that you have mercy on all those. Have mercy that are having na natural disasters. The, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the fires, the floods. Dear God, we ask that you will look down on us and have mercy yes, on Lord. us. Lord. Yes, mm -hmm. have mercy. Mm -hmm. So much is happening, Lord. So many are praying, Lord. <laughs> and you know that we are, Lord. And we love you, dear Father. Yes, and we look to you for all things. And we ask that you will be with us as we go from day to day. Lord, you know what the remnant represents. Love, yeah. giving, helping, and things mm -hmm. to encourage other people. Dear Lord, we ask your blessing as we go yeah. from day to day. And we ask that you will let us continue on for many, many, many mm -hmm. years. So yes. We yes. ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank God. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm. Thank you, Sister Yvonne. And thank you, uh, Sister Cooper, for all that you have poured from your heart, scripture reading, and also 
that beautiful, beautiful prayer. God mm -hmm. bless your spiritual being. God bless your spiritual heart. God bless you immensely. Mm -hmm. We are so grateful. We are so blessed and yes. we are yes. so yes. thankful for yes. each and everyone here on mm -hmm. this virtual platform. We are thankful and we love the Lord because he loved us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And now I believe that uh, we have our time now set aside for a welcome, a welcome. So now who would like to do a welcome? Well, since I have no volunteers, I will have to <laughs> choose one. So I would like for everyone to do a welcome, but because you cannot, I am going to ask and call upon Sister Esther Harding to come on and give us a Amen. welcome Amen. as you often times do. Good morning. 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 I'm not hearing everybody. Good morning. 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 Thank you. Uh, it's it's good. It's good to be in the land of the living one more day. Amen. I, I give honor and praises to Almighty God for His goodness and His mercy for another blessed week and. Welcome all of those that are on our line this morning, and I pray that you would have a blessed week and a joyous week and a happy week, and just give God all the praises for every day that you see and every day that you're alive. Just, just continue to bless, let him bless you and you bless him and all that he do for you each and every day because we don't deserve sometimes all of God's blessings, but he's just so good. Say and he's so upon us. So yeah. we just ask you to just praise God all week long. Every day that you wake up in the morning, give God your praises and thank him for yeah. Oh, that's right. In the name of Jesus, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Amen. Beautiful. Amen. 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 Yes. Thank you, Sister Esther Hardy. And I can tell you all that if you didn't feel welcome before, you're welcome now. Amen. Amen. God bless your beautiful spirit, Sister Esther. Thank you so much for that welcome address. Thank you. And now, um, is it time for some music? Or is it time for our tithes and offering? Okay, so the music ministry is what I'm seeing. However, I believe it is time for our tithes and offering. Music. Some music. Okay. Well, the music ministry. Okay. Good morning, all. Good morning. Okay. I got it now. I got it. Just, I just <laughs> thought that I would change in, in the order. Okay. So now we are going to do a music ministry. Um, and at this time, we have uh, a sermonic selection by our very own songstress, Sister Brenda Cyrus. Sister Brenda Cyrus, will you be blessing us with your beautiful uh, angelic voice? I will try. Oh, Amen. You don't have to try, just do it because you got it. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.
I'll be right with you. I'm just having some problems here. Be day that fix my choice on thee, my Savior and my God. We may this glowing heart rejoice and tell its rapture all aboard. Happy day, happy day, when Jesus washed my sins away. He taught me how to watch and pray and live rejoicing every day. Happy day, happy day, when Jesus washed my sins away. Oh, happy bond that seals my vote to him who merits all my love. Let careful anthem fill his house while to that sacred shine I move. Happy day, happy day, when Jesus washed my sins away. He taught me how to watch and pray and live rejoicing every day. Happy day, happy day, when Jesus washed my sins away. It's done the great transactions done. I am the Lord and he is mine. He draws me and I follow on. Time to confess the voice divine. Happy day, happy day, when Jesus washed my sins away. He taught me how to watch and pray and live rejoicing every day. Happy day, happy day, when Jesus washed my sins away. Now rest my long divided heart, fixed on this blessful sense of rest. Here have I found a noble part, here heavenly pleasures fill my breast. Happy days, happy days, when Jesus washed my sins away. He taught me how to watch and pray and live rejoicing every day. Happy days, happy days, when Jesus washed my sins away. High heaven that heard the seldom voice, that void we knew shall daily hear. Till in life laid this vow I bow, and blessing death are found so dear. Happy days, happy days, when Jesus washed my sins away. He taught me how to watch and pray and live rejoicing every day. Happy days, happy days, when Jesus washed my sins away. Amen. Amen. Happy day, happy day when Jesus Amen. washed my sins away. Beautiful. Thank you, Thank you Sister you. Brenda, for Thank that you. beautiful, beautiful story. Glory. Yes. Thank Praise you. God. Praise Thank God. God. Praise Thank God. You. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. sir. Thank yes. you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Y'all don't know, I, I practiced that song and I only had one day and I was at Keith's house. Thank All you, right. Keith, for being on and thank you, God, for giving me the strength to sing that song. Go ahead, girl. Amen. Give him the thanks. Yes. Amen. Give him the thanks. God can do Amen. all things. Yes. Thank you. Yes. yes. So give him the praise. Give Amen. Him the praise for the wonderful yes. things that he can allow us to do. Wow. Yes. And it's only what we do for Christ that will last, right? Mm -hmm. so you go ahead and you sing your song, sing your song of glory, because you know something, you have blessed our heart with that beautiful Thank song. You. Happy Thank day, you. happy day, when Jesus washed 
my sins away. Or I should say when Jesus washed our sins away. Amen. It's Amen. a happy day. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Yes. Thank you Amen. for using Amen. Sister Brenda as a vessel to bring us the word in song. The word yes. in song. Yes. Thank you so much, Sister Brenda. And now at this time, okay, I was a little ahead of myself before, but ways <laughs> to be a blessing to the Remnant Family Worship Center. It is Amen. now our tithes and our offerings. You can't beat God's given, no matter how you try. Second Corinthians chapter nine, verse six through eight tells us, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of us should give what we have decided in our heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Amen. You can uh, give through the following. And if you all have a pencil pen ready, you might want to write this down. Okay, but it is our uh, cash app, a dollar sign, remnant family. Uh, WC, or you can give through Givelify using HTTP and of course the yes with a semi and a uh, two slashes, give, G-I-V dot L-I slash H-C-W-F-O-E. And remember, you must make certain that you write this down and that you give and give to the right place. Because if you don't, sometimes you wind up losing and it goes someplace else. So write down the cash app and write down the Giblify. Amen. You can Amen. God's given no matter how you try. God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Amen. And now for our announcements. Our announcements are as follows. Our morning manna, uh, prayer and devotion. That is every Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. And again, write it down. The phone number is 339-209. 4712. One thing I can tell you about the Remnant family is we pray our way to start our day. So <laughs> prayer and devotion, come on and join us each and every Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. And our second announcement is if you wish to contact us, you may contact us at phone number 646-287-8972, or you can email us at the remnant fwc at gmail.com, or you can reach us on Facebook, HTTP, and of course, the yes, uh, forward slash www.facebook.com slash the remnant FWC. Then we have the Remnant Family Worship Center Bible Study and Prayer Meeting. Bible Study and Prayer Meeting is held every Tuesday from 8 p.m. to 9.15 p.m. And you can join us via Zoom Meeting ID 717-1499-8095, or you can dial in, you can dial in, there are two ways, and you can dial in, the number being 929-205-6099. And last but not least, we have our Installation service for Reverend Calvin Anthony Chandler. Amen. Amen. Off 
office of Senior Pastor of the Remnant Family Worship yes. Center Incorporated. Yes, this will take place on Saturday, September the 3rd, 2022 at 11.30 a.m. And let me tell you, you must, you must mark that calendar. Be there in the place to see this auspicious occasion. This yeah. is going to be a beautiful, beautiful service. If you can see what I'm seeing on the screen, uh, you can look at the men of God who will be in attendance for this great, great occasion. And it will be held at the greater temple of praise, the house of Judah, 157 Snydeca Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. For further information, you can call 646-287-8972, or you can email the remnant FWC at gmail.com. We cannot wait until September 3rd, where we will be blessed. We will be blessed and highly favored to have the Reverend Calvin Anthony Chandler to the office of Senior Pastor of the Remnant Family Worship yeah. Center in court. God bless, God bless Reverend mm -hmm. Chandler, amen. Are there any other announcements that I may have missed? Okay, I think we can move on. All right. All right. So get your get your Bible, pen, and paper ready because the word of God is getting ready to be preached. So ready yourselves to receive your spiritual food for your spiritual strength. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who Amen. takes refuge in him. Amen. Yes, we will be blessed with a word from on high by our very own Reverend Calvin A. Chandler. Reverend Chandler is one who takes his assignment seriously. Yes. And may I add, he knows how to deliver the assigned word that God has exclusively exclusively given to him so mm -hmm. that he can impart to us and to the world. God Amen. is good and we thank God for utilizing, using Reverend Chandler to bring forward the word of God. So Reverend Chandler will come and he will take over this service with his morning message taking us right into, right into our communion. Amen. And thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. It is a pleasure to see Amen. each and every one of you. Amen. And may God continually and immensely bless you, not just today, but for tomorrow and all the days Amen. to come. Love Amen. God with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your soul, with all of your being. Love God. Love God unconditionally because he loves us. Amen. 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 Pastor Calvin A. Chandler, you can take it from here. Good morning. Amen. I believe that there's going to be a yes, okay, yes. song today because God used my mistakes he won them for for my good yeah like no one else ever could girls can you help me say that come on I Today. Everything that I went through, because everything God that you're going through, my 
have to understand that it is a test for a testimony. He worked yeah. for my good. But like no one else. Like no one else. Oh, I'm saying it, yeah. If you know that you've been through some things in this room. God, Are you going through some things right now? You ought to just lift up your hands right now. He Can we say that again? Can we say it again? Like no one else. Necessary. Uh -oh. I hate I like it is. It's hard to believe that when you're going through it. You see what I'm saying? But it's necessary. If you just hang on in there. If you just hang on in there. It's necessary. It's necessary. Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope, and my will be lost in thine. Draw me nearer, God, nearer, precious Lord, to thy precious beating side. God, we simply pray that you do it again. Send the anointing, send the power to make preaching seem kind of easy. I've studied, but I need your strength. I prepared, but I need your power. So it is my plea and supplication that you hide me behind the old rugged cross and that you anoint this tongue of clay. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Grace, mercy, and peace be multiplied to each and every one of you whom God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It is another day's journey, and we are so glad about it. As we heard, Fantasia said, it was necessary. Yes. I am who I am today 
because God took my mistakes and mm. he worked for my good like no one else could. So God told me to tell you that it was necessary. Amen. Thank God. Thank you, talk. Yes. Um, amen. Topic on today, I resign. Beloved, the truth be told, we are all living this life together. And there are a few things in life that we can no longer subscribe to. There are some things that we can no longer do. There are some places we can no longer go. There are some relationships and friendships that we can no longer have. Why? Because where God is taking us, they are inadequate, they are unequipped to handle the next level of ministry. I'm preaching already, I'm gonna give my text in a second. Uh, we are about two weeks away from the historic uh, uh, service of elevation. Although this is a celebratory event, it causes one to think and evaluate things. Recently, I found myself uh, having conversations and talking to God more than normal. Uh, don't worry, I'm not crazy. I talk to myself often just because I'm anointed. And mm -hmm. these conversations, I'm asking God, am I ready for this assignment? Am I qualified for this assignment? A uh, Lord, really me? You know, I am rich, undone. Uh, I'm not perfect. I, I'm striving for perfection. I'm, I'm yet young. There's so much I don't know. I have not done yet. I have not experienced. And then as the song said that, that I disqualified because I'm a sinner. I've made mistakes in my life. But the song helps me understand that everything I've been through that it was necessary for this very moment that's about to transpire on September 3rd. Oh, I found a little peace knowing that because I've been through all I've been through, over uh, 20 years of preaching ministry, I've been a lot of ups and downs, a lot of tears, a lot of hurt and a lot of pain. It, it, it was all necessary. Uh, um, two of my sisters are being uh, are licensed on uh, September 11th. I wrote the message in the Bibles I gifted them saying, listen, I, I, it's a happy occasion, but it's full of sorrow. She looked at me and said, what do you mean sorrow? I said, listen, ministry is lonely. The friends that you think you have, the people who are with you now that's hanging out and going out to Texas Roadhouse and, and say they're your friends, that, that when ministry comes, there won't be no one there to be found, that, that there are nights where you cry yourself to sleep and, and you're just weeping and sometimes you don't even know why. Ministry is lonely, ministry is not easy. Everybody wants to be in ministry, but not everyone is equipped for ministry. Amen, amen to that. You have to understand that there are some things that we have to resign from. Second Chronicles chapter number 20. I'm going to read the B clause of just verse 20. It says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe in his prophets, and so shall you prosper. We all know this very uh, familiar pericope when Jehoshaphat was going to battle and the word of the Lord came that you need not fight this battle because uh, it belongs to the Lord. Beloved, so many things in life we have to understand that we need not have to fight, but change is going to come. It was James Baldwin who said not everything that is face can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is face. Mm. This quote, famous quote, Bowen meant that we may not be able to achieve all our dreams of change now, 
But the simple fact uh, is that we can't change anything unless we go and face the problem. Mm -hmm. We can't we can't call change to happen until people collectively acknowledge that there is a problem. Beloved, everyone under the sound of my weak voice, whether watching on Facebook or Zoom or we're going to watch on YouTube, beloved, we all have problems in our lives. But the scripture tells us that you need not fight this battle. Just take your position, stand and witness the salvation of the Lord who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Be not dismayed. Tomorrow go against them. The Lord is with you. We have to understand that because God is with us, then we shall recover all. We have a problem in the church. The church is supposed to be a hospital when, 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 when sick people come in and are healed. But we find that in 2022, as we're in a pandemic and monkeypox are on the rise and we got all hell breaking loose in our lives, that people are refusing to come to the church. People are sick, people need guidance, people uh, 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 need direction, but they don't want to come to the church. Why? Because the church too much resembles the world. Mm. Beloved, if I got hurt yes. in the street, I'm not going to go to the street to find uh, uh, the solution, to find uh, 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 help. I'm going to go somewhere that does not resemble what hurt me. Amen. When your car breaks down, you won't take your uh, car to a uh, 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 no good mechanic, but you look for someone who specializes that's mm -hmm. able to fix the problem that you have. Uh -huh. something is wrong that when we come to the church for worship and there's no sinners in the building oh, something is wrong sense. when you come to church and everyone is saved and sanctified Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized something is wrong when your church have no people in need of healing amen wonder uh, why are we here with all the mess that we've done with all the things that we have done over the life uh, yeah. why are we still preaching and singing when well, I come to tell you the reason why we do what we do is because we have a prophecy over our life we are still here because the word of God came over our life that we shall be the head and not the tail we shall be above and not beneath Beloved, we all have a prophecy over our life. And if truth be told, a prophecy must come to an unclean vessel. Therefore, my sin qualified me for this anointing. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, the sins I've committed, the wrongs, the mistakes I've made that qualified me because God seen something in me and he reached way down and picked me up, turned me around and placed my feet on solid ground. The prophecy, it may sound like a lie. It may sound unorthodox. It may sound unrealistic. It may sound like you're going crazy, but you have to understand that if you believe in the Lord thy God, he will uh -huh. establish you. And if you believe in the prophets, so shall ye prosper. Well, you have to understand that sometimes prophecy sound crazy. People told me I'm a pastor. I always tell everybody I, I don't wish to pastor. I don't want to deal with the people. Uh, people, <laughs> beloved, uh, uh, lay members don't understand how much hell a preacher goes through. And when you become the pastor, it's a new level of hell that you have to deal with. And, mm. and, uh, 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 before you pass the, you don't have to take every phone call. You can you can put your phone on, do not disturb and sleep peaceful through the night. And, and you don't have to worry. But but when you are the pastor, everything changed. You have to answer every call. If the budget's not met, you have to make sure everything is done. There is a difference mm. in being a pastor and a lay member and beloved, the prophecy came and said, you were pastor. I said, listen, that's not me. I don't mind assisting uh, 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 Dr. Whitney. I don't mind assisting Apostle Wiley. I am good being at the best number two. But, but, but God. The prophecy came. Mm -hmm. God said otherwise. 
aha, uh -huh, you have to understand that the prophecy going to sound like a lie. The prophecy mm. going to sound crazy. People are going to laugh at the prophecy. People are going are going to, to scrutinize and, and what they love to do is bring up your past, your prophecy. Oh my God. Well, sometimes even have scandal. People was will 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 see the anointing and they will dislike you just because of the anointing you carry. Mm -hmm. there, there's usually some drama attached to the prophecy. Mm -hmm. Don't despise where you are now. Don't despise your average because there's awesome in your average. People thought that because I don't have a degree don't, from prestigious university, my parents aren't great pastors. Uh, I, I haven't did all these great things and, and haven't matriculated. They don't have all these big, huge endorsements, but but I'm just an average uh, 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 black boy from Brooklyn that, that, that right. I would be disqualified, but, but God has given me the anointing for this assignment. Don't worry about when people call you average. Just know that God dwells inside of you and makes you awesome. Your mm. prophecy will be criticized. They're going to talk about it, scandalize your name, but you have to realize that the prophetic isn't about you, but it's about the nation. God spoke over your life just because you were the conduit that he's going to use to reach the nation. When God chose you and gave you the prophecy, he called the meeting in hell. And you have to understand that hell has intentions to kill you and keep you away from the prophecy. But beloved, we have angelic bodyguards because of that same meeting. Gabriel mm -hmm. was at the meeting and Michael was at the meeting and therefore he dispatched them to put a hedge of protection around you. You're going to go through some hell and high waters. You're going to go through some mess but it will not destroy you because God has a plan for your life. That's something that qualifies you. Prophecy is when you pass up a good deal. You, you, you know, when someone says, uh, Reverend Chandler, come to my church. I, I give you a pastoral position. I, 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 I will... I will make sure you preach. We give good offerings, and you have an office, and you have all this good stuff. And and you said this is not the assignment God has given me. God gave me remnant to have to stay. When you have to pass up something that sounds good, and when you have to pass up that that salary position, and 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 and, and people telling you come and I pay you X amount of dollars. You got to do this, that, and the other. It sounds good, but 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 you know the prophecy told you to stay. Where you are when, when you're on your job and they want to give promotion, but now you got to work on Sundays and, and you know that you, you have a word that you have to go to church on Sunday and, and, and you have all this. You know that your prophecy is real and about to come to fruition when you have to pass up that good deal because that deal would be good to your flesh but your spirit will end up decay. Sometimes you have to resign from people that don't understand your prophecy. They see your anointing, they see your gift, they want to use you, but they can't nurture you. Amen. Amen. You have to resign from a few things because you have to go through a crucifixion mm. with a memory. If I would have took that offer, if I had took the job, if I took that assignment, that position, I wouldn't be who I am and where I am now. Yeah. But you have to crucify your flesh and crucify the desire and say, I resign. I, I know my flesh wants this. I, I know I can be good at this. But the prophecy over my life says I have to resign from where I am now to go to where I'm going. I can't go into 2023 in the same place. Uh -huh. The prophecy must be fulfilled. Amen. So we have to quit some things. We have to leave some things in our past. We can no longer be with some people. We can no longer be with some things. We have to hand them our letter of resignation. Beloved, 2022 was difficult. We witnessed so many tragedies. We've lost 
so many loved ones. In 2022, we all were tested and, and tried, and it was in 2022, we faced some of the dark moments in our lives where millions yeah. uh, have transitioned, but we have to resign from the hurt and the pain from what we've been through to get to where we're going. The Bible mm-hmm. says because we can be endured for a night, but joy comes in the morning. It was in 2016 that around one o'clock in the mm-hmm. morning, we got the call that Mount Sinai was on fire. It was in that same month uh-huh, that me personally was excess from my job. It was in 2016, uh, the pastor who I served for only 20 some odd years and baptized yeah. and ordained and retired. And it yeah. looked like the enemy was winning. How could I make it? Dr. Whitney is no longer here. He's retired in Delaware, yeah. enjoying his life. The, the church was on fire. <clears throat> we, but yet I still have to go on preaching. I don't know where I'm going to work at it in September. We have so much going on around us. What are we going to do? How are we going to make it? It was in 2017. My grandmother got a uh, very sick. It had yeah. to make tough decisions yeah. in 2018. It seemed like ministry wasn't for me anymore. Satan uh, uh, was doing his best. And, and in 2019, I had to do the hardest thing I ever did in my life. I stood and preached my grandmother's funeral 2020. Yeah. We entered mm-hmm. in the pandemic. Depression came knocking 2021. We are shut in and it feels like all hope is lost in 2000. Yeah. And 22, yeah. we found the, the Remnant Family Worship Center. September 3rd, we'll be installed as yeah. pastor of the best church in the world. But look, I had to resign from the hurt and pain from everything I've been through. I had to resign from harboring the feelings from Mount Stein. I had to resign from the stress from my work. I had to I'm resign really from uh, being so caught up and engrossed in personal feelings and in depression. I had to resign. Why? Because yeah. what God is calling me to is greater than what I've been through. What I have, yeah. The people I have to reach, the people I have to minister to, the people I have to prophesy to is more important than my bad deeds I had in the years to pass. But what's coming is better than what's been. I have to understand. I have to resign from thinking back of what could have, should have, would have. But <laughs> thanks be unto God. We're preaching that now. We're preaching. Preaching. It was necessary Come for me to now. be who I am today. It was necessary mm-hmm. to go through the hurt and to shed the tears and uh, yeah. make, to go through the pain. Why? Because it qualified me for where I am today. All right. All Come right. On. Tell it like it is. Yes, indeed. It. Tell everyone, majority of the stuff you heard about me, it was true. Uh-huh. It was true. I'm not ashamed of what I've been through. I'm not ashamed all right. from where I come from. Uh huh. We have to understand that all that I've been through, all that 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 I accomplished, it was necessary. God mm-hmm. turned it all around for my good. You have to understand. So you have to uh, effective immediately. I resign from being the Calvin you want me to be. But I am the man of God that God has called me to be. I, re- I resign from being bitter because I have to be better. I resign from working uh, on the enemy's plan. I, I resign from being bound by tradition. I, I resign from not obeying God because it may look funny. People don't understand why we gather every morning, Sunday morning on Zoom and out in the regular building because this is the assignment God has given us. I quit from uh, caring about what everybody else think about me. I resign from being outside of the will of God. I am who I am today because God loved me and my relationship with God come first. I Mm -hmm. resign from Mm -hmm. people because I'm on assignment from God. Everything Mm -hmm. I've been through was necessary. Mm -hmm. If truth be told, we each have a prophecy over our life. God has spoken something over each and every one of our lives. And God has a plan for all of us. And, and everything you go through is the process. And it all was necessary. Let me give you Bible as I prepare to close. I know we're over time. For I, the Lord, your God, keep hold of you in my right hand. I am the Lord who says to you, do not fear. I will help you. The hurt, the pain, the drama, the tears. It was necessary because it qualifies you for the anointing that you now carry. 
All I came to tell you today is, beloved, it was all necessary. But guess what? Because it was necessary does not mean you have to stay where you are, but you can resign from all the hell. You can resign from the hurt, the pain, the shame. You can resign and leave the feelings behind. Why? Because God is taking you to a new place. God is elevating you. God is thrusting some of us into our next. But we can't ascertain our next holding on to what was. You can okay. never, if you in a relationship and you know that relationship is no good, you can't get your next. You can't get your husband or your wife holding on to the boo thing that's no good. Amen. But getting those things which are behind and repress towards the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. I'm reminded of a story as we prepare for communion. Uh, Father has felt very ill. He was diagnosed with an incurable disease. He was the head breadwinner of the house that had five children. They were all still in school. The wife didn't have a job. She was a stay-at-home mom. When the husband became ill, the wife had to take care of the husband and the family. Uh, she she took a little job to make money to make ends meet. But the more and more the husband grew ill, the more and more she had to call off her work. The job called her one day and said, listen, since you've taken so much time off, your, your, your services are no longer needed. The wife is stressed out about what she's going to do, how they're going to make ends meet, how they're going to do things. They got so caught up, didn't know what was going to happen. The wife decides, listen, I, I, I got a good insurance policy. I got some good benefits that I know that if, if I take my life, I know that my family will be all right. They got enough money the kids can survive on and, and they can be all right. She sat down and as she's sitting there, she begins to write a list of all she did to make sure she had done everything in her power before she decided to take her life. She, she sat down, she said, I went to job call and they wasn't hiring. I went to the employment office and couldn't find a job. I went down to Salvation Army and, and they couldn't help me. I, I went to the United Way and, and, and they couldn't find anything for me to do. I went down to the social security office, they couldn't find <clears throat> no benefits. She's home depressed and, 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 and she's, she's really contemplating suicide. Depression was all on her. She said, listen, I can just end my life. Hmm. I got a few hundred thousand dollar insurance policy that I know that, that my family will be all right. Uh -huh. so I'm no longer here. She said, let me check one more time to make sure I have done everything I, I, I could do before I make this drastic decision. I know my kids is going to miss me. My husband is going to miss me. She sat down. I went to job call. She wrote the J and went to the employment office. She wrote the E. Uh, Salvation Army, yeah. check. Come on now. Yes. Unemployment, she wrote to you and Social Security wrote the S and, and, and she's looking down and as she looked at the letter she wrote down, it spelled the J-E-S. You and she said, wait a minute, I, I've tried the city, I've tried Job Corps, I, I've tried the government, I've, I've tried the unemployment, I've tried Salvation mm -hmm. Army, I've tried the CBOs, I've tried the United Way, I, I, I've tried Social Security, but what I have not tried in Jesus, all I came to tell you that when you find yourself down and out and don't know which way to go, simply try Jesus. When you find sickness in your body and you can't figure out how you're going to make it through and get healed, try Jesus. When you find that you've got more bills than money in your account and, and they send it a disconnection notice, try Jesus. I, yeah. I, I, I'm telling yeah. somebody on this morning that no matter what yeah. you're going through, just try Jesus. 
that when all hell is breaking loose, call on Jesus. When, yeah. when they're talking about Jesus. you, call on Jesus. Jesus. When they scandal out your name, call on Jesus. Why? Because if you lead me to the cross, I know I can find my way home. Don't mm -hmm. talk about me. Don't scandal out. But just give me Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Y'all on this yeah. morning is to simply try Jesus. Why? Because there's a prophecy over your life. Scripture says, Believe in the Lord your God, and so shall ye be established. Believe in his prophets, and so shall ye prosper. So the prophetic word for today is. What's coming is better than what's been. You've been going through hell. You've been going through trials and tribulations. But I come to encourage someone on this morning that says they won't always be like this. That's right. That sooner or later, oh, God yes. will turn it in your favor. Oh, yes. Working and turning it around for you. There may be someone here on the side of my yes. weak voice. That want to get to know this Jesus that I'm preaching about. That want to get to know this man who's able to make uh, your ends meet. Get to know this man who's able to heal, set free, and deliver. As simple as ABC. Amen. Admit that you have sinned. Admit that we all, so we all have sinned. No matter how anointed oh, yes. you may be. We all are sinners yes. saved by Christ. Yes. Believe yes. in the Lord Jesus Christ. That he has died on the cross. But he rose up on the third day with all power in his hands. Confess that Jesus is Lord, for he is the King of Kings mm -hmm. and Lord of Lords. Beloved, if you do the simple ABCs, do one last thing with me. Pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask you for your forgiveness. I believe that you have died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead on the third day. I turn from my sinful ways, my life of sin, and I ask you to come in and to be in my heart and be in my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior, and I follow you as my Christ and King. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you have done your ABCs, and if you have prayed this prayer with me, I want to say congratulations on making the best decision of your life that you are now saved and in the ark of safety. And beloved, if you have prayed this prayer, whether you need to be, uh, whether you are, are saved or not, we have to pray this prayer sometimes daily. One of my favorite songs, Bruce Parham said, Lord, hide me, even if the enemy you hide me from is myself, because my flesh is dirty. My flesh cannot be in the sight of God. But we thank God that he washes us and yeah. as we prepare for communion, we have to pray this prayer because, because our flesh disqualifies us from taking communion. But you have to pray a personal prayer. I can't pray the prayer for you. You have to pray for yourself after God to forgive you, to purify you, to cleanse you. You have to pray for forgiveness and give forgiveness. He said, for this cause, many are sick and sleep among you if we eat of the cup bread and drink of the cup unworthily. You have to pray to be worthy to take the cup. So as we prepare for communion, this is the time that you take, then you pray. You may have to call somebody for forgiveness, and you may have to have to send some text messages out to, and get in right standings with God. This is your opportunity as we go and prepare for Holy Communion. Prepare your hearts, prepare your minds, to take and partake in the Holy Eucharist on this morning. Amen. Amen. God. God, we thank you. God, we love you. God, we worship you. God, we adore you. God, we pray even now that you will purify us, that you will cleanse us from the inside out, that you take our old black soul and dip it in the pool of your red blood and make us whiter than snow. God, we pray 
that you will forgive our sins, that we may be qualified to partake in your body and in your blood. blood. I pray even now that you will strengthen us, that you will keep us, will cover us. Kind Father, turn element from a carnal to a spirit. And we thank you in advance for healing. We thank you in advance for keeping. Thank you in advance for preserving. Jesus' name. Amen. Again, the Lord bless you. Amen. For I have received the Lord, which also I delivered unto you. <laughs> that the Lord Jesus Christ, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. <laughs> Blessed it. He given thanks, break and said, take, eat this is my body, which is broken for you. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven, broken and given to you. Eat ye all of it. After the same manner, he also took the cup. And we had up saying, this cup is the New Testament of my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For often as you eat of the bread and drink of the cup, you do so the Lord's death until he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat of the bread and drink of the cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not deserving the Lord's body. For this call, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we judge, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man is hunger, hungry, let him eat at home, that they not come together unto condemnation. And the rest I will set in order when I come. The blood 
that Jesus shed for us it reaches the highest mountain and flows to the lowest valley. The blood of Christ, the new covenant, the blood that can cure cancer, the blood that heals, the blood that sets free, and the blood that can deliver. Drink ye all of it. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for one more time. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that after they communed together, the Sunday hymn went out to the Mount of Olives. I don't know what's on your agenda for today. I don't know where you're going to go, what you're going Hallelujah. to do. Hallelujah. Amen. But beloved, Hallelujah. I encourage you, my brothers and my sisters, that on today that you resign from things that's keeping Thank you back. You, Lord. That you resign from the things that's keeping you from his purpose. Yes. You resign from the yes. people that's yes. not a part of your assignment. My favorite motto is, I'm not dealing with foolishness in this season for not a part of my assignment. Beloved, know that you have a prophecy over your life, that you are the head and not the tail, that you are above and not beneath, oh, that yes. you shall come last and know yes. nothing. So, beloved, I encourage you, my brothers and my sisters, to walk in the reality of a done thing, knowing that God is on your side. As yes. always, it is my prayer that you are blessed, that you are encouraged, and that you are expecting greater because God has greater in store for you. Go in peace. Amen. 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 Amen.